Demographics are immensely important to economics. When the working age population, people between 15 and 64 years of age, is significantly larger than the dependent population, the very young and elderly, an economic window of opportunity known as the demographic dividend opens up. In fact, the relationship between the working age population and dependents is so important that it explains one-third to half of economic growth. And the higher the worker to dependent ratio, the faster the economic growth. Globally, the ratio of the world's working age population to dependents peaked in 2012 and will decline into the future, slowing global economic growth. Yet, in Africa, the size of the working age population as a portion of total population is still growing and will only peak shortly after 2070. That is because sub-Saharan Africa has a particularly young population. On current forecasts, Africa's peak worker-to-dependent ratio will, however, be low which translates into relatively modest potential for rapid economic growth rates that will only accelerate mid-century or later. With few exceptions, average economic growth rates in Africa are too slow and population growth rates too high to allow the continent to either rapidly reduce poverty or improve average incomes. Targeted interventions on family planning, provision of clean water and improved sanitation, education, and advancing women's power, status, and education relative to those of men can dramatically improve human development outcomes by rapidly reducing poverty and increasing incomes. In a scenario that advances Africa's demographic dividend, the continent will, by 2063, have 418 million fewer people. Poverty will largely be eliminated and Africa will have an economy that is 1.7 trillion US dollars larger than would otherwise be the case. Africans need to engage candidly and robustly in public discussions and scholarly analysis of the economic and developmental implications of the continent's large youthful population. Political leadership in discussing gender inequality and family size is vital, as are public media campaigns that demonstrate the health and economic benefits of smaller families. In addition to investing in the education of women and girls, African governments in low- and lower-middle-income countries should prioritize the accelerated rollout of modern contraception. Such a program should first meet the pent-up demand for contraception and then aim to significantly expand contraception use beyond current planning. This would advance the onset and intensity of Africa's demographic dividend with substantive development benefits. Africa must take action to advance the achievement of its demographic dividend to rapidly alleviate poverty, grow incomes and improve livelihoods.